Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and a Fan. Here I am holding two of my favorite things on the planet. Coffee. And this was a gift from one of my favorite people on the planet, Swan of Dreamers. And his name is Tiger Bear. Now here's the interesting thing. He's a, he's a teddy bear that has a mane like a lion, but spirit, or as I call her, the great goddess, divinely guided me to call him Tiger Bear. Isn't he cute? Cute, cute, cute. I'm serious. I, I love this stuffed animal so much. Uh, I actually have four teddy bears now. Um, the other three need to be washed. I, I can't bring myself to do it, but um, fortunately for me, I have an awesome audio-visual person who agreed to do it. He knows how to do it the right way, because if I put them in the wash, I'm going to look at them like I'm destroying them. And I, I don't want to do that, because, you know, I sign all these animal abuse petitions already. It's like, I feel like I... Wait a minute, that's another topic. Okay. So, hey, YouTube. Robert Alvarez, the Psychic Witch here, also known as Mr. Lighting and a Fan. Uh, there is lighting from the outside, courtesy of the sun god, Helios, Greek god of the sun. And the time is approximately 12, 18 p.m. Another early day video for us. The sun is in Cancer, and the moon is in Taurus. Interestingly enough, Taurus has a lot of connections to Cancer energy, both um, astrologically and energetically, and also personality-wise and emotionally. I've met a lot of sun sign Taurus people, who have, who have rising in cancer. Um, in fact, uh, one of my closest friends, and um, interestingly enough, Cher has sun in Taurus, cusp of Gemini, and rising sign cancer. And she has a, a house by the ocean. Surprise, surprise. My best friend with Taurus sun and rising cancer uh, was very touched by the motion picture Beaches, which starred, among others, Maya Bialik, and uh, Bette Midler and she once said to me that she wants to die the same way the lead character dies which if you've watched the motion picture you know how that is and to quote one of my favorite Hoobian characters Dr. River Song no spoilers no spoilers okay so every once in a while um, somebody who is a subscriber to my YouTube channel gives me gifts and I always feel like a rock star every time they do that so as I mentioned back in the what's happened video I was away from my home for a while so fortunately for me my awesome audiovisual person was feeding the cats picking up my packages retrieving my regular mail etc so so I was able to get her package um, and I want to tell you, I've, it was originally going to be an unboxing video and then it was going to become a, an unbagging video but I just decided, you know what, let me just make it easy for everybody and just remove the contents. So first, um, she gave me a package of 100% uh, genuine Indian spirit money house blessing, money house blessing incense Indian fruit and one of sandalwood, same brand, and it's so funny because I remember asking my awesome audiovisual person to be on the lookout for the the original blue 100% genuine Indian spirit money house blessing candle, which is phenom. I mean that candle works massively well. Let me tell you, that is a pow power pack candle, and I love it. It's been so long since I burned it and I cannot wait to, to burn it again. So um, the sandalwood I think is on my Divine Prosperity Altar which is over there. But I also want to show you these beautiful bags that you made me. Now look at this. And I'm going to have my awesome audiovisual person do a close-up. Look at how gorgeous this is. Now I must confess this is not normally my preferred style of tarot bags and oracle card deck bags but I love the whole thing. I love how well it was knitted. I love that the button can easily open and close. And it's funny because 
for the longest time, I wanted to have a bag that I use just for crystals, and I think this is going to be one of the bags. And she remembered how much I love lunar colors. You have the silver of the charm, you have the white of the button, you have the blue of the pouch itself. And then of course, look at this gorgeous slate blue. Slate blue is actually one of my other favorite colors, but then again, you know, even my psychic guides are like, Robert, you can buy another color, it's okay. And I actually am wearing navy blue shorts and a red t-shirt, I mean a red short sleeve shirt. The tank top underneath is a combination of navy blue and sky blue. I know. And this one's pearlescent. I didn't even notice that until now. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. Again, not my preferred style of tarot bag, but I love that she made them, and she made them so well. I want to tell you, Carmen, I love these gifts. Thank you for giving them to me, and I look forward to using them. Now, this one I love, and I'm going to have my awesome audiovisual person do a close-up of this one. I love that it has a different charm. love that it's like a sparkly charm. And I love that it's not a fire, that it's not a lunar color. Uh, this resonates more with my rising sign Leo. And it's funny because one of my favorite crystals is carnelian. And I love the carnelian color of this pouch. Now, this one I'm especially... If I were to give away any of these, it would be these two. This one I'm keeping, and I'm going to tell you why. Because there was a beautiful surprise in here. And it was this. Now, unbeknownst to Carmen at the time, um, and I'm going to have my awesome audiovisual person do a close-up of this as well. Look at this gorgeous carnelian crystal. Now, uh, carnelian, listen to me. Citrine quartz. Now, it just so happens that citrine, green aventurine, and amethyst are my personal favorite prosperity crystals. So, when I lead the Divine Prosperity Simulcast event uh, next month, which is a combo event at the present time with the Divine Love Healing event I'm going to lead in October, I am going to wear this pendant, and I love that it's wire-wrapped. Did you do this too, Carmen? Did you wire-wrap this? Because I didn't even know if you did that. Wire-wrapping has become so popular in jewelry lately. Well, for a while, but it's I've been noticing it a lot more the last, this, this year. It's like wire-wrapping is really, really popular. And I love this. I love, I can use it like a wand, like a magic wand. Um, I, I just love this pendant, and it's a beautiful citrine quartz. There's a perfect blending of the clear and the golden yellow. I, I'm just really happy with this. So I saw this, and I was like, oh, yes, indeed. And it's adjustable. Although I think I don't need to worry about adjusting it. I think it's perfect like this. And it's perfect because, as most of you know, the next new moon is on Tuesday, July 2nd, 2019. It is both a new moon and a solar eclipse in Cancer. So it's going to be great for, like, setting intentions, having a reboot. I always find eclipses to be an opportunity to reboot one's complete selves, like physically, emotionally, and spiritually, and also a way of, like, resetting one's intentions, especially for a long term. Because remember, there aren't, there are usually an average of four to six eclipses every year. So if we were to look at uh, what happens between now and let's say June of 2020, it's like, what's happened? I think this is another reason why journal writing has become more popular for me and more important for me. It's like, I need to know like what happened here, what happened there, etc. Now, one of my newest well, she hasn't been one of my newest favorite musical artists, but her name is Celia Cruz. And I remember recently I was listening to Deep Sleep play playlists on Spotify Premium as a way of going to bed at night and sleeping peacefully. And then I noticed after a certain while, the Deep Sleep playlists weren't working for me. So I did something radical. I, I decided to listen to an Afro-Cuban drumming playlist. And I remember when I began listening to one, I was falling asleep in the chair in which I was sitting, sit, sitting. And I was just like, oh my God. Well, if I'm falling asleep in the chair, I'll be able to sleep in the bed. 
So sure enough, I went out like a light. I was like listening to Afro-Cuban drumming. I've been really more deeply connecting with my ancestors and with the spirit of, of my Afro-Cuban heritage. So it, it really is important to me that this is happening now. Um, so I've been listening to Celia Cruz again. Uh, I gotta tell you, I love her energy. For the longest time after she died, I kept thinking that I, it was only a matter of time before I would happen to be listening to a Latin American radio station and the DJ would say, Celia Cruz is back in the studio recording her next album. And for years, I kept waiting for that. That's how potent and that's how strong her life force energy was. And that's how beloved she is. It was like, I'm waiting. And then one day it was just like, I remember it was just like, I was, I think I was home that day. And it was just like, okay, she has died. Like she, her spirit has gone from this planet, her, her soul rather, and she's not coming back anytime soon. And it was just like, oh, okay. But it was so powerful. It was like, I swear to you, YouTube, I thought for sure that there was going to be another album. Maybe there's going to be one recorded posthumously, I don't know. Um, in the meantime, I am getting ready to reread The Little Money Bible by Stuart Wilde. I want to tell you, this book was an amazing experience for me. I loved reading it, I loved rereading it, and uh, most of you know that when it comes to prosperity books, I'm usually reading and rereading them, especially the ones written by Dr. Catherine Ponder. But it's been a while since I've read this, and look, I purchased it at my beloved Borders. I'm gonna have my awesome audiovisual person do one last close-up. Whenever I would buy a book at Borders, I would keep the price tag on as a way of giving homage to Borders. And this was, this entered the store, um, if I'm reading this correctly, in 2007. So it tells you how, how long it's been since I've owned this copy. Oh, but I love this book. It's funny, I don't think I've ever read any other Stuart Wilde book, and he's written several. But, um, yeah, there definitely needs to be some, uh, some more. So, um, but yeah, I'm getting ready to reread this book, and I want to tell you, I'm looking forward to it. So YouTube, as always, I thank you so much for honoring who I am and what I do. I wish all of you many blessings of joy, riches, and success, radiance, prosperity, and peace, wealth, health, and happiness. And if you are so inclined, a like, a share, or both. And if you feel divinely guided and intuitively led to avail yourselves of my psychic services, I would be honored to do so. I wish all of you a beautiful day, a wonderful weekend, and many, many blessings to you and yours. And have a beautiful day. And good day.